Hi, I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered and licensed dietitian here in Tampa Bay, Florida. And today I'm going to provide you with a few facts about the mineral calcium. This mineral is actually found in quite abundance in a lot of foods that we eat. And it's also very important for our bodies as it helps make strong bones and strong teeth, plus of a lot of other things. Like I said, it's found in quite abundance in the foods that we eat. First and foremost, when people think of calcium, they automatically think of our dairy products, as calcium does come in great abundance in our milk and liquid milk, also but in yogurt, our cheeses, um, even ice cream has a good amount of calcium. Now keep in mind, just because these are all dairy products and changed a little bit different, the calcium content doesn't change that much. It's also found in a lot of fortified foods. I'm sure you've seen an orange juice or a grape juice with added calcium. This is because calcium and vitamin C work hand in hand and actually absorb very, very well together. So getting your calcium from, for instance, a, cit um, a, citric, a citric juice is actually an easy way to add some calcium to your diet. Now there's also lots of great calcium supplements out there, and it's a pretty big um, mineral, so the pills themselves are a little bit large. Sometimes it's recommended to maybe split them one in the morning and one in the evening, and you'll see them in a lot of different forms. They can be a chew or a full pill. Sometimes they're going to be calcium citrate, which again is that vitamin C and calcium combo. A lot of times you'll see calcium with vitamin D. These two also work very, very well together, and vitamin D is something that's been shown more and more to have really positive research for overall health benefits, not just bone health. So again, lots of different variety. Even our fruits and vegetables, more so the vegetables. For instance, broccoli, excellent source of calcium as well. So as long as you're getting a moderate diet with lots of variety, you should have a good calcium intake. Recommended amounts are about 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams per day. If you're a woman postmenopausal or if you're an adolescent, you're going to need a little bit more, closer to 1,400. And if you're a male, you're closer to the 1,000 range. So if you're not thinking you're getting enough, maybe talk with your family physician on starting a calcium supplement. Again, lots of variety in that diet, so it should be easy to start incorporating a little bit extra calcium in your day. I'm Charlotte, and eat happy.